on American artifacts. A visit to the Smithsonian American Art Museum to see the exhibit, A Democracy of Images. My name is Mary Foresta, and I was the curator of photography at the Smithsonian American Art Museum. This exhibition, The Democracy of Images, is in one of the special galleries devoted to photography at the museum. And it celebrates the 30th anniversary of the establishment of the collection. And I was glad to come back and organize this special exhibition on that anniversary. The Democracy of Images, the title of the exhibit, is really representing the phenomenon of photography as it arrived in the 19th century and was commented on by many people, among them Walt Whitman, who upon seeing one of the earliest exhibits of photography in a daguerreotype gallery on Lower Broadway in New York, described the special feeling he had when looking at a wall of photographs of portraits of people and thinking that this was going to be a technology, the technology of photography was going to radically change the way we looked at ourselves as a people, as a nation, and as a culture. And this exhibit hopefully gives you some taste of what Walt Whitman might have felt. So it's wonderful to be able to add to the collection um, with some of the kinds of images that would have been the most popular in the 19th century. Things like tintypes that are often hand colored. We have some marvelous examples here. In the middle of the 19th century, you had to make an effort to get your photograph taken. We might marvel at some of the images that people went to the effort to have made. Things like the wedding portrait might have been um, obvious, but somebody who photographed their child and also perhaps their favorite dog is amusing to us now, though we might say, what a great dog and what a handsome little boy. Other images have a bit more of a cultural resonance to them as we look at them today. And one of them would be certainly this small daguerreotype of an African-American woman holding a small child. The fact that she's African-American and the baby is white certainly is noticeable to us today and we might wonder about that relationship. Whether the African-American woman is a free slave or a slave or had a different kind of relationship with a child, we can only speculate. But it does draw us into an interesting dialogue about that time and the relationship between um, uh, social classes, economic classes, and uh, race in the 19th century. For more information on the Smithsonian American Art Museum's exhibition, A Democracy of Images, visit their website, americanart.si.edu. American History TV's American Artifacts airs every Sunday at 8 a.m., 7 p.m., and 10 p.m. Eastern on C-SPAN 3. To watch our program anytime, visit our website, cspan.org slash history. American History TV, all weekend, every weekend, on C-SPAN 3.